Hi friends, it's so good to see my kick friends again. I want to talk to you about the last couple of weeks. Two weeks, ago, two weeks ago, we talked about how incredible you are because God created you and made you unique. Last week, we talked about you're incredible because God chose you. Will you choose God? This week, we're talking about how God is always with you. And so I have a scripture I want to read out of our Bible. It's out of James. Is that the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's the New Testament. Okay, so we're in James 1, verse 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Perseverance, that is a big word. Does anybody know what perseverance means? I looked it up in the dictionary so you can have the definition, okay? Perseverance, persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. So think about when you were an infant. How long did it take you to learn how to walk? Did you just come to this world and you stood up and ran? No, it took about a year for all those muscles to develop and your brain to develop and the coordination to be able to um, have the skill set to walk, right? That's a whole year. What about when you um, took your training wheels off and learned how to ride your bike? Okay, most of us don't just jump on a bike. A lot of us learn as when we're little and we have the training wheels on there to guide us and then we learn how to ride with just two wheels. So there's a process, right? And you persevere through it. Or maybe when you're learning how to swim, you know, you have to start with learning how to hold your breath underwater and learning the strokes and the kicking and um, there's so there's a process there too i i think of um a memory i have about perseverance is when i took drew my son and he was only in kindergarten so maybe he's like five to the park and he wanted to shoot at the 10 foot rim you know the hoop by himself he he was not he said to me i am not leaving this park until i make this basket and he st stood there and he shot and he shot and some of them were not even hitting the rim up there okay they were just dropping and i would rebound them and rebound them and rebound them here you go here you go well finally i got to the point and i said drew okay how about i how about i lift you up so you're a little bit closer and you shoot in it. And he looked at me, he goes, no, I want to do it by myself. Okay, well, he kept shooting and shooting and finally he got so hot, he had his winter coat on. He took off his winter coat, shot the ball, and it just went over the front of the rim and dropped right in. Hallelujah, we could go home. We don't have to starve anymore. We can go home and eat lunch. And yes, it was, it was great that he persevered through that. It was difficult for his size, but his determination was there. And so he didn't do it alone, though. Even though he did shoot the ball, he had in his mind that he was going to do it by himself. But I was there by his side because I was able to be there to encourage him. I was able to be there to pray for him. I was praying for him, all right. And I was there to also um, catch the ball, to rebound it and hand it right back. Here, come on, you can do this. And so it's a perfect example of perseverance. And some things are challenging. And maybe that doesn't seem so challenging, but when you're five, that is so challenging to do. So there are things that we have to deal with throughout our whole life at different levels that we need to persevere through. So there's one more scripture I want to read to you before we go to my family and check out some examples we have for you today. So we're going to go to Ecclesiastes. Is that in the Old Testament or in the New Testament? 
that's in the Old Testament. You know what? The first one of my kick friends that can spell Ecclesiastes without any help or guidance or phones or computers um, and tell your parents, I have a candy bar for you. So text me or message me, the first one that does that, I have a candy bar for you. And we're gonna go to Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10 in the Old Testament. So here it says it, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Okay, so we're going to go to the next um, clip here so that you can see some examples. Hey, Drew. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, do you ever think about how strong Jesus is? Yeah. Yeah? Can I show you something? Yeah. All right, let me, let me show you this. Let me see your book for a second. Okay. Now, if this were Jesus, just, just put a hint right there, okay? And then let's start stacking some books on there and just see how strong he is, okay? Look at that. I put three whole books there. Pretty strong, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, say this is you, okay? Let's see. Let's see. Let's put the books on you. Maybe we can put it this way. You know, I have an idea. Why don't we wrap you around Jesus? Think that would be pretty cool? All right, let's try that. I got a piece of tape over here. All right, so let's wrap you. Around Jesus. Now, what's inside to support you? Jesus. Jesus, yeah. So, now you're around Jesus. Now we're going to stack these books back on there. And look, with Jesus' help, you can basically balance the books, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, you can take all that load. Now I have an idea. How about this? Okay. Mm -hmm. How about now, after you've wrapped yourself around Jesus, all right, we pull him out. Now, Jesus is here, but he's still with you. But you're a lot stronger now because you've wrapped around him. Let's, let's see what happens. You think you'll be able to carry the books now? You think so? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Well, there's one. There's two. And there is the third one. Wow, how about that, huh? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So if you wrap yourself around Jesus, you can be stronger. Here, why don't you get back to read? Okay, so are we stronger with Jesus? Yes. After watching that, right, when we wrapped ourselves around Jesus, we could put those three books on top of us and we could persevere easily, right? So let's look at this too. Now, if this is just one person alone, are they easy to break? Yeah, right? What if we have two people? Is that gonna be easy to break? It's a little harder, a little harder with two, but still breakable. Now, if we have two people and we add Jesus, right? Now can we break it? Let's see. Mm -mm, I'm, I'm not able to break it. What if I just have even one, right? When you have Jesus in your heart, you can persevere through even the hard times. And now, I know we have school starting and then we have all these fun accessories now that we have to wear, right? Some of them go on like this, or maybe some of you are using these, or these that you can adjust, all different colors, lots of um, interesting accessories, wouldn't you say? Yeah. 
So your teachers would probably be wearing these too. And I'm sure a bunch of you have gotten used to seeing them already. Well, you know what? God can help us persevere. Even if you're struggling, here's something you can do to get used to wearing these masks before school starts. During your tech time or your TV time, try to wear your mask the whole time that you're um, doing that. And then you'll increase that time a little bit more each day. And soon you won't even know. It'll just be a fun accessory that you can wear and your teachers are really smiling underneath there and so will you but luckily um, we have some beautiful staff and teachers out there that are going to get us started on this school year and that's exciting too but know that Jesus is always with you he's in your heart just invite him in there and he's going to help you persevere through this school year whatever that may look like we are here also and we are praying for you so let's take a few minutes to pray. Thank you, dear Jesus, for walking with us, for helping us persevere even when we're challenged by new things, Lord. We are so thankful for you and the power that you have within us, Lord. We love you and we pray a great protection over this community and we pray that we rally together to help one another as we navigate through this school year, Lord. Thank you for all the wonderful children, and I just pray over each and every one of the families, Lord, that you bless them and keep them. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, friends.